over 75 years, people have saved money.
It is uh, a Tuesday, and normally Tuesdays are cooking streams, but with the inclement weather that we had earlier today, I kind of had little choice. So I had planned on going to the grocery store, all this kind of stuff, um, but at this, unfortunately, like I said, inclement weather, I couldn't get to the grocery store. It was just, it was crazy with the... Um, with the, the storm that we had earlier today. So, we'll cook Thursday. Normally Thursday I do some type of gaming stream. Recently we've been playing Pokemon all that kind of stuff. But today I said, you know what, let's um, let's play a little Destiny, right? I am Banner, all that kind of stuff. So, let's get to it. Because I haven't had a chance to really play Destiny in a while. And I really want to. So, let's do it. So, I'm in the tower. Um, I had already collected my bounties. We're going to do some solo Iron Banner because I like to lose. And we'll see how this goes. Not a particularly good PvP player. So, this would be even more challenging. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not really looking forward. I'm not really looking forward to Iron Banner. Um, I think I already got the first Iron Banner. Yeah. Um, this emblem. So I don't really have much of an, a need to do this aside from just some grinding some pinnacle gear and um, that's really it. We'll get some tokens. We'll take those tokens with us into next season. That'll be... I'm really hoping that there's going to be solid vendor refreshes for everything. And I'm sure they have said... Uh, some stuff, you know, is going to be, it's a yearly or whatever. So, I know they said that for Crucible, Vanguard, Gambit, all that kind of stuff. And then you'll be able to get skins for each of them. But it's like one central set, which kind of sucks. But I don't know that they addressed Gambit specific, uh, not Gambit, Iron Banner specifically. So, we'll have to see. Um, what do we got? Perfect Paradox, Reckless Oracle, see how it goes, like I said, not expecting it to go too well, I'm sure we're up against a stack team, because why wouldn't we be, oh, no, interesting, we're not, alright, you know, first game's always a warm up, but, like I said, when you're not that good, it doesn't really matter, Ah, uh, that weapon damage fall off. Uh, couldn't make it in time. Couldn't make it to that zone in time. I'm expecting to be up on this platform. And or jumping over this. For some reason people love to jump over this. I tag anyone? No, it doesn't look like it. What? Ah, oh, man, swords are the worst. I, I, I truly do not like to use swords, despite my uh, love and affinity for swords in real life. I don't really care for swords in this game. That's not going to go well. Nice. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Uh, 
Ah, these sons of bitches. Let's see where they're hiding. Where are they hiding? No tag with the grenade again. Such a shame. I mean, there's like four of us on this one dude. I'm sure. Sure, we can take take them out one at a time. Uh, how, man? I must have been weak without real. What the hell? Three on four. Where did everybody go? What the hell? What's happening right now? I cannot take anybody for shit with this grenade. Oh my. Okay. And we all got booted. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. First game on PC. First game of the night. And that's how we're going to start it. Stream servers are offline. I mean, obviously, they're not fully, fully offline. If we were just playing, but that might be why it's such shitty connection. So, if Steam is having some sort of issue, it's going to make this really uh, boring. So, we'll see how this goes. It is my luck that as soon as I decide I, it's, you know, I, I want to play Destiny, that we're gonna, uh, that we're gonna fucking Steam is gonna go down and we're not gonna get to actually play anything substantial. What I catch, three zones, three kills, something like that. Uh, no good, no bueno to our first match. I know there are other people playing Destiny, but they might be on console, where well, that's kind of annoying. So, what are, what are uh, what are our options in the meantime? Well, I guess we can we can play Pokemon. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to exit that. Um, well, uh, we'll bring a Pokemon because I don't really have another option. That's uh, so unfortunate. I can't even I can't even stream on console if I wanted to because I don't own a capture card for console. I have a nice Xbox One X. It's hardwired to our internet. We recently upgraded our internet to the best internet Verizon has to offer um, and even that's not good enough I mean that's that's not our fault that's steam but it just happens to be that of course as soon as I try to make use of our internet not allowed okay Hello, Warren. There's an issue with Destiny at the moment. So. We're going to have. 
have to do something different. Pokemon it is. Yeah. Uh, give me one second to pull it up. And uh, we'll get this show on the road. Where is it? It doesn't want to give me the option to capture it. So this is fun. Uh, I got to open up another window capture. I was not expecting this. So I apologize. And we have to update our stream tags because we are no longer playing Destiny. So, uh, Pokemon Black 2 First Nuzlocke Challenge. And okay. All right, so we updated. Cool. Let's continue. Warning, you can only enjoy when wireless communication is no, we're not gonna we're not gonna enable that. Yeah, I don't care about your stupid sea gear. Alright. So where were we in this game? I think we had to go to our second gym. Seems like something we had to do. This, I guess, doesn't want to show me my badges. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, we definitely have to go to the second gym, which we are sorely not uh, prepared for. Right? Who, who's in our team? We have. Three Pokemon. Seven level seventeen Snivy. Well, I guess now he's a whatever Snivy evolves into. A level fifteen Badoo and a level fifteen Growlithe, who I named Jerry after our dog. And uh we're, we're, what we're doing is a modified Nuzlocke. Um and what's going to happen is I can only catch and use Pokemon that are the grass type. Um, which, you know, when I when I did this, I didn't even realize just how many fucking weaknesses grass types have. And fire is one of them. Poison, the next gym, is one of them. Flying, ice, I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna run from this. I need Verdu to evolve. Like that that is not an option. So I have to grind up Lurch. And it's uh you know, encountering a poison type of coughing is, is the worst. Encountering a P dove. Like, how do I grind this this stupid little uh I'm sorry, not Bidu, seawater up? against Pokemon that it's weak against. I mean, I'm a grass 
see, Silvano's a grass bug type, which means it's going to be four times weak to flying. Four times. So if I get hit with one gust, I'm dead. And because this is a Nuzlocke, if it dies, it's dead forever. So encountering a Magby or a Coughing or a P Dove, like I have to, I have to fight Pat Rats and shit. I, it, it's so annoying. I really wish I didn't do this to myself. What I was trying to see when, when I started this, I said, you know what? How can I make this? Like everybody does a Nuzlocke, right? Like Nuzlocke's are a bit difficult, and I don't want to say they're nothing special, but every, most players who like play Pokemon at any you know advanced age or levels of difficulty will will do a Nuzlocke, right? So I said, well, what what's something different? What can I do that's slightly off? How can I make it more challenging just than just a regular Nuzlocke? I said, you know what? When you're going around and you're... Oh, God. Why can't I get away? I said, well, what can I do to make it even more challenging? And, you know, the whole premise is you go around to eight different gyms and you fight all these gym leaders who are supposed to be some of the best trainers in the area, right? They're supposed to be incredibly strong trainers. But they all suffer the same flaw, right, in, the, in their teams. And that is they all use one type. Um, you know, they're all specialists of some kind. Oh god, maybe now that it's winter, I won't find so many fucking fire types. Um, but they're all specialists. So we, we fought a, a, a normal type gym leader. This next one's poison type. Why is this alive? In, like, how is this thing living in the winter? Like, it should be, it should be dead. I will never understand why I'm four levels higher and I can't get away. It's a baby Pokemon. There's no reason. None. But. So, you know, obviously being a specialist of any type is really difficult. And. and Different types are easier to do this with, right? Being a, a normal specialist is a lot easier than being a grass specialist. Because normal is only weak to one thing. It's only weak to fighting. So yeah, you struggle against ghost types, but there's not that many of them. And, you know, normal types can learn a wide variety of moves to cover different elements so you can learn fighting type and electric moves and all this kind of stuff to uh to handle different matchups so yeah we could we could have picked an easier uh type yeah i know it's not very effective but you know what i don't have any options here game i mean if you're wondering why it's not effective, think about it. I'm a little bug, and I'm nibbling, essentially, at this steel electric magnet thing. Like, yeah, of course it's not going to be effective. But I think it evolves soon. Of course, it, it has uh, it's a three-stage evolution, so even its second stage isn't going to be particularly strong. Not that sea water itself is strong at all, but... Oh. Luckily, I should kill it. As long as I don't miss. Okay. 
bide is a, is a, is a move where um, it stores up all the energy and damage that you have done to it in two turns, and then on its turn, it doubles the damage. Hmm. I guess I don't evolve at 16. It must be 17, which is a super bummer. I really have to get Jerry up. That's like one of my uh, top priorities is to get Jerry up. Because as a fire type, he won't be weak to the poison, but he won't be strong against them either. In fact, what level is Jerry? I think he's 13. 15. Okay, that's not terrible. If I can get Jerry up to 17 as well, I think we'll be... I think we'll be okay. It'll be a long slog of a fight. But I think it'll be doable. I'll have to go and buy more potions and stuff because I have no choice but to use them in battle. Let's see how much Razor Leaf does. Can I, can I one-shot this thing? No, I cannot. Hmm. How much experience do I get? 65. Wow, it's going to be like 10 or 12 of those. Honestly, if I encounter a Magby... I'm just gonna try to kill it. I'm gonna see what happens. A P Dove. P Dove is gonna be a little tougher. I don't think I can do P Doves. Because they're a base Pokemon, like they don't have a. Um, it's not a baby. Magby is a baby, so its base stats are gonna be really low. So I could probably take a hit or two from it without having to worry. P-Dove, on the other hand, is a base Pokemon. So it doesn't have a pre-evolution. It's not a baby. So its base stats, while probably aren't very high, high enough that it'll fuck me up, at, you know, considering we're only a couple of levels difference. It's really unfortunate that the uh, that we had the weather we did today. I wanted to cook something. I'm being honest, I, the weather was so shitty. I never even gave myself myself a chance to think about what I was gonna cook. Um, what I want to do is on Saturdays. I want every Saturday to be a cooking stream, obviously, and I want for the rest of August. For it to be like a summer series. So like every... Let's see how much damage this does. Holy shit. Man, this, this, is, this is gonna be impossible. Legitimately, do not think it is possible to do this without severely overgrounding and overleveling. I, I I just don't see it. How could you? Maybe maybe not with grass type. Maybe you can, maybe you can do it with fighting types or psychic types, uh, where the number of weaknesses are far lower. But with something as as weak as grass. Or with as many weaknesses as grass has. Fire, flying, bug, poison, ice. Like that, that's five of 18 types. It's, I just don't think it's doable to use a team of only grass types. It just, it just can't be done. Again, not without crazy overleveling. Like, could I take hours and hours to go and grind, uh, raising up and leveling up and evolve? Uh, yeah, sure, I could. But what, what, what's the fun in that? 
Look at this. I don't, I don't even have other other Pokemon to use. Like, if I'm gonna do this, if I'm gonna continue this playthrough, it's gonna have to be one of two things. Either it cannot be a Nuzlocke, or because it, it, I, I just I can't. Can't be a Nuzlocke, or it can't be. Uh, a gym leader challenge using grass types. I might have to use a different uh, specialty. Originally, my plan was to do fighting. I'm a, I'm a martial artist. I've been training martial arts for... It'll be eight years uh, at the end of this month. So I think if I have any uh, authority in anything, it's fighting. Wow, that does even less than Bug Bite. So, but I, I didn't think there were uh, going to be any fighting types that I can encounter early in the game. So I didn't really plan on using it. And then I said, you know what? We get a grass type at the beginning of the game. Let's let's go with grass. See what I'm saying? You, just, you can't even... Oh, Magnemite. Because what is grass even strong against? Grass is strong against water? Rock? Water, rock, maybe ground? That's all I can think of. Uh, let's let's look it up. What what is? Let's pull up a type chart. Grass is yeah. Oh, uh, but this is Pokemon Go though. I don't know if that uh that really applies. So grass is strong against ground, rock, and water. And it's weak against flying, poison, bug. There's no... That doesn't make sense. I'm looking at this wrong. So it's weak against flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice. Yeah, so it has three strengths and five weaknesses. Like, come on. What am I supposed to do there? Like, I, I, it's just, it's impossible. So, we're gonna have to modify this if we want to continue to do a gym leader challenge. We can, you know, we can say, okay. It's not a Nuzlocke anymore because it just, it, it's, it's too much. Five, I, I'm, I, I'm, my mind is blown over the number of weaknesses. I never really thought about it because I never, you know, you, you maybe have a grass type on your team, but you never really like, how often do you have four or five of them where it's like, holy shit, a single fucking bird will destroy my whole day. Like, never. That doesn't happen. Like, that gust attack right there, that would be catastrophic. Yeah, I, I, I want to get a capture card for the Switch, so Warren and I can play Super Smash Brothers or whatever, and, and you can watch me fucking just crush her in, uh, in Mario Kart. It's actually very funny. And I've been playing Shield and Sword. Well, I've been playing Shield, not Shield and Sword, but I've been playing Shield, and I gotta say, it is far. Far superior. I mean, my 
god, the, the, the number of improvements that they made to that game. Um, it, it's... I, I don't even know where to start. I mean, no more random encounters in the grass, right? You, you can see the Pokemon you're gonna, you're gonna fight. Then, the game just feels alive. Like, it, it has that characteristic of it. Uh, where it just feels... It feels like a living world. And they, they accomplish that through two different aspects. Like, there are two different things they do in Shield and Sword that really make the game feel like you are... You're a part of the world. And the first one is right in the beginning of the game. The wild area that you they bring you to. Um, you know, you, you walk around and there's level 26 Onyx and there's a level 50 Rhydon. You know, just like these crazy powerful Pokemon that exist randomly in the world. Like, it, it feels good to see them existing, you know, not just at Victory Road. Like, holy shit, there's strong Pokemon right here, right now. Like, it feels... You, you, you feel the need to get stronger, and, it, and it's great. I love it. And the other is how they handle the reason we're going to do this gym challenge. Like, it, they set it up in such a way that it's like an annual competition, and we're taking part in it, and we just go around, and, and it feels like... It really does feel like you're a contestant in this. You walk by, you can see characters talking without having to talk to them. Uh, there's just so many quality of life changes just to the story that make it feel good. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still super early in it. I don't even have, I only have one gym badge, but at the moment I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Your whole team gets experience points after every battle or, or you catch something. That's another super great tool. I did my first Dynamax raid. I caught a, a level 20 Axew, which was, it was incredible. It was right on par with the rest of my team. Everyone else on my team was somewhere between level 17 and 20. And then you go and you do this raid and you, you can catch something at your current level. Like it, it felt good. It, it, you know, who wants to go catch something that's level three and then just grind it all the way back up to where you are. Like that's it's boring and it's a waste of time. So this, you know, having shield, it really feels like it uh, respects my time far more than this does. I also feel like I've been leveling up naturally, just running around fighting. Like I'm excited to run into the grass and see what's there. All the different types of Pokemon, like don't get me wrong. I've never played black and white or black and white too. So I'm not familiar with any of these Pokemon either. But blindly running into grass is not nearly as exciting or satisfying as seeing them, you know, chase you out of the grass and, and all this kind of stuff. And we're walking around. Like it, it really feels it's fun to, to fight. So I want to get a capture card so we can, uh, so we can do that. Uh, we're almost there. We were on a pretty good streak with those pat rats, and now we gotta switch over. Or maybe this is how you do the gym leader challenge, right? You just have something else on your team to, to help. It'd be great if I had a rock type to just fucking crush these things, but, you know. Should be our last battle before Lurch evolves. At least that's what I think. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Let's 
so we're gonna see what Lurch evolves into. Probably after this. if he doesn't evolve after this, I don't, I don't know what it'll take to get him to evolve. Like holy shit. I really think the, the move Gust is interesting. You know, it's just as Pokemon flapping its wings either incredibly strong or incredibly fast to just hurl wind at you. And I almost imagine that you get hurt not because of the, the wind itself making impact with your body. No, what? Still not evolving at level 17? What does it take? I gotta look it up. While she's doing this. See what all. It evolves at level 20? Let's see. No, oh, wow, shit. It's not good. That's not good at all. Level twenty, shit. Let's do this. Let's see something. Jerry um, will evolve. You know, no, he's not going to evolve, but we'll get him to level 16. And then we'll just try and take on this second gym. Just so we can get past this. We'll see what happens. It probably won't go well. I'm not expecting much to come of it. But we can try. Just to get an idea of what it, you know, what kind of Pokemon does the gym leader have. What level are they. And we'll see what we want to do. Jerry has a higher attack stat or a higher special attack. Because then against things like Magby and stuff, I should know what I'm using. If I should use Ember or Rock Smash. Uh, his attack is 28. His special attack is 28. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter. Interesting. I imagine you have a higher special attack. No, your special attack is like the worst. What about you? Your special attack is lower than your okay so you're attacking and I guess so is Geico and growl Jerry it doesn't really matter at the moment interesting so I can I'll fuck this thing up with the with the rock smash because my attack is just as strong and it'll be super effective I won't get the stab benefit and 
another pat rat. This chair, let me tell you, is so uncomfortable. Like, you see me moving around all the time. Because my fucking, my ass gets numb in this thing. It's just a, sh you know, it's just a folding chair. Lauren didn't want me buying another chair because it was on her wedding registry. But, a magnet. Associate, whatever the fuck they're called, pre gym leader battles. So we'll take on, we'll heal, we'll take on the second trainer before the gym leader, and then I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, it's not gonna go well, right? Like, I have two grass types on my team. And one fire type. I have nothing to combat this poison type. So, uh, I'm not expecting this to go well. I, I was saying before, I this either has to change. Uh, it can either no longer be a Nuzlocke, or I have to change the Pokemon type that I am using. Because there's... I just, grass has too many weaknesses, right? Uh, there's five weaknesses and it's only strong to three things. So, I'm always at a disadvantage unless I'm fighting nothing but, you know, hikers and, and Brock gym leaders, but I, so I, at the moment, we're just gonna do it not as a Nuzlocke because I only have three Pokemon, so we'll, uh, Maybe we can amend it later. But for now, we're going to make this not a Nuzlocke, just because otherwise uh, uh, it's, it'll just be too difficult. A Venipede, okay. At least it's a bug type, right? So at least Jerry's Ember can uh, be super effective against it. It's a pretty high level. Level 14. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not upset about it. Coffee. See, that's what this, These are the kind of poison types that are gonna mess my team up. If it, was, if it was bug poisons, it wouldn't be a big deal. But. Oh, nice. Nice, Jerry. Fucking you. I mean, I, it seems like I would have two shot on him anyway, even without the crit. But man, it's good to know that Jerry can kind of take these a little easier. How the fuck do I get out of this? I hate that I can't walk over chairs. It's the, it's the silliest thing. Like, let's go heal Jerry. And. As long as it's not a glaring difference in in level between me and the gym leader, I think Jerry will be all right. Because I can always send out uh, either Siwaddle or Geico to kind of tank a shot while I heal up Jerry. I think that's going to have to be the play. If I can get through this gym battle without anyone dying, it'll be a miracle. I'd be very, very impressed with myself. But trying to do a gym leader 
a grass gym leader challenge has, has not been particularly kind to me. I forget I can run in buildings. Alright. Let's see what this dipshit has to say. Ah, you know, I can't even argue. She probably will. This is gonna be a coffin, right? The two fifteen. Oh, that's a sixteen. We're like the same level. That's not great. Oh no, I didn't want to use more. Uh, at least now I get to see what the other one is. What the hell? World of peace. Okay, but at least it's a bug type. This doesn't do too much. Use protect, okay? It's fine. I'm gonna use protect. A fucking crit here would be tremendous. No. Okay. I don't think it'll kill me. No. Oh, you're a little fucking whore. Trainers can use items in battle. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It's fine. Attack is, is fine. Okay. As long as she doesn't use another super potion, this should be fine. So her ace is down. Her ace is down. So I think we can do this. Flame wheel. Uh, yeah, we're gonna forget. Our, we're gonna definitely forget fucking Leer for flame wheel. Nice. We're not gonna switch Pokemon. Should do even more damage than Ember did. Not much more. Let's just let's try Ember and see what it does. Just so I get a gauge. I think Ember did a little more damage. Okay. That should be it. Nice. Oh fuck yeah. Nice. I I am impressed with myself, if I'm being honest. I don't care what you have to say. I am very, very surprised that I was able to win without having to constantly switch out or do anything. Up to 30 will listen to me. And you give me Venom Shock, a move that actually might be kind of useful considering I'm using grass. Ooh, that's good to know. Okay, I kind of like that move. Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, I guess that's how the game's gonna progress. You know, whatever. I, I won. I don't care. 
Venom Shock is not a bad move. I'm gonna I'm learn it. I'm gonna teach it to Sawaddle. Well, I gotta see if it's a, if it's a special or physical attack, and then I'll determine who I teach it to. Man, Jerry really fucking pulled through for me this match. When does he? When does Jerry evolve? When does, when does Gravel evolve? Evolve using a fire stone whenever I get one. Cool. Uh, okay, so let's see. Venom Shock. It's a special move. So, which one of my guys is a special attack? I know I just looked at it and I forgot. Special attack is 26 and 28. Okay. Special attack is 22 and attack is 30. So definitely not you. Geico would seem to be a little... is going to grow slower than my attack will. I'm just now curious. His moves. Ah, so Leaf Tornado actually isn't even that good for him. Vine Whip. Leaf Tornado does so much more, man. He has such a shitty nature. What's, I don't, what's his nature again? What is it called? Careful? Yeah, okay. He'll, he'll build a little more tank or a little bulk to him, but to, to have special attack of all things for a grass type go down, it's not what we want. Maybe I'll hold off on, on teaching someone Venom Shock. We'll see what our next grass type is.
What is this game doing? I guess we're, we're watching this movie together. That's one of the types of matter. Is that the movie? The, some guy fights, loses one Pokemon battle, and dies? Was that what just happened? So he just like is in one movie, dies in, in the movie, and then like fucks off. I love how he's like, oh, everybody has to pursue their dreams, so I'm gonna stop mine and go back to being a ship captain, which I guess he did say was his other dream. So, whatever. You know, this game has had. A tremendous number of dialogue and discussions of the war. Okay. You gotta be a star, darling. Let's see, how, let's see what they give me. And action. Okay. It's a steel type. Oh, I get 
got one. Gotta check the scenario. A battle on knockout opponent in every scene. So it tells me what they're weak against. Be bad, said the director. Well, that might be stunning. One of the best scenes I've ever seen. Film the movie and they're like, get the fuck out of here. I'll talk to you, I guess. Oh, do I have to do it again because I told him no? I thought they asked me if I wanted to watch it. I was like, absolutely not. But I guarantee they're going to make me. I think it'd be a weird movie if they called me the Ryalu kid and I didn't I didn't use a Ryalu. Like it it would be weird. Okay, I, I fucking suppose. Just 
just go and you're gonna force me to watch this. It's by far the dumbest thing I've ever seen in a game ever. I never said it. Whoever put this in the game and decided that this was a good idea, it, it, it was not, and I don't like you for it. Are you going to give me money for this? No? You're just forcing me to do this for no reason? for wasting all of my time.
force them to talk to an individual and just like start the fight. Oh, a singular pat run. I am so fucking scared. Okay, you can use bite all you want. You're gonna be dead before you get to use it, so. None of this was challenging. Still make it out. Uh, how do I get to Route 20? No one showed or told me. It's this way. Was I not able to go this way? Or am I backtracking? Yeah, I'm backtracking. Fight all three of them? Perlon is a dark cat. Perlon is a dark cat. I mean, it's, it's Wow, the, the, just like the cues they give in this game. Let's go back to Burbank and look for somebody who knows a lot about ships. As if we didn't just spend 10 minutes dealing with the sea captain and his stupid movie. Like, yeah, obviously I have to go find the sea captain. This game is full of like mini dialogues and cutscenes and movie breaks. I guess I don't, I don't understand it. It it it, it truly is confusing to me. Just take me to the next. 
next fucking city. Just that's that's all I want to do. Yes, we're going to the next city. I just want to catch my next grass type. I would accept a bell sprout or an oddish. I think either of those would be fine. Okay, thanks. Just please, for the love of God, let me go. Oh, there's an item. A heart scale. Okay. That'll be interesting if I want to remember a move later. Or like teach a move. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what it's for. Holy shit. Why can't they just let me go? Okay. Thank you. That's that's very nice of you. I'll accept the bike. doing this. I just want to find a department store so that I can buy a Firestone. Do you guys sell anything? Sell anything useful? I mean, potions and stuff are always needed. How many do I have? Ooh, not nearly enough. Antidotes, what do I got? I got enough of those. I got enough. I'm pretty sure I have enough of everything else. What do I, what do I got on potion bubbles? 11. Uh, I'm, I'm good for now. Let's... Okay, I don't... I don't like the amount of forced interactions they, they make me have. I, I had to talk to this girl to get her to move. Like, why? Let's see. Okay, I thought maybe they would show me like an actual map. Maybe tell me where things are. Good, a few years for the inspection. Cool, 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 cool. Why that change in camera angle? I will never know. Okay. Can I go out some other way? Giant circle. What the hell is happening to this game? Okay, 
Thanks for telling me. Cool, I guess. Thanks for not helping me with anything. I really just want to leave this town and try to catch something. I mean, that's kind of cool. They have a bunch of people. super annoying. What do you want from me? Okay, thanks. Bye. I'll be... No, this... Magic grass nearby. Let's see what fucking level you're at. You and your drill boots. 16, not bad. That's, that's higher than I expected. Probably should have used flame mill, but whatever. Honestly, I was expecting that to be more. Maybe because it's. It must be steel ground. just pure steel, because otherwise both of those would have been super effective. So, in, in steel, steel ground or steel rock, one of the, no, but fighting is strong against rock, so if you steel rock, it'd be four times weaker. The marrow, yes, we will actually use one of our grass types. Uh, what are you using? God, fucking finally I can I can use one of, <laughs> one of the Pokemon for the gym leader challenge that I'm doing. these fishermen, but not until after we swapped. There's no reason, oops, there's no reason Jerry should, uh, should be in the front when we're going to talk to some fishermen. Just in case they want to battle. Yep, that's what I expected. I had a feeling if I talked to them, a side dog. Of course it has to be a fucking psychic. It has to be a psychic goddamn water. Swaddle doesn't evolve until level 20, which is outrageous for a bug type. I mean, come on, a vascular. I don't think so. Most bug types are <laughs> like the, the ones you catch early on in the game, anyway, like uh, needles and canopies. They're fully evolved by level 18. This one hasn't even evolved once yet. Do it. I don't want 
want to, but I really want Lurch to, to level up. As long as this doesn't... Okay. That should be... Should be fine. I was expecting another fight, and I was just really hoping it wasn't going to flinch or crit me again. Ooh! Oh, nice! Okay, okay. We're gonna heal up... Sawaddle, and we're gonna keep, uh... We're gonna keep this going. At this rate... He should level up pretty quickly. Basically at level 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about too many stupid fucking Pokemon. Just one. Better be good. Bastard. Okay. That gave me a lot of experience before, so I'm willing to take it again. so close. Ooh, man, we are so close. We gotta get this little, this little buggy to evolve. I guess we'll talk to you. Your hurtia seems to say that it's a dangerous smell about me. Yeah, it's because I'm a fucking murdering you and your Pokemon. Yeah, I would, I would definitely say it's pretty dangerous. I wasn't expecting a Growlithe. It's not good. Uh, we will have to send out our own, slightly stronger Growlithe to deal with this. Does this Growlithe not have an Intimidate? It's a shitty Growlithe, my man. yourself up, that's fine. I'll just be nibbling at your feet. Don't don't mind me. No big deal. But a crit would be fucking great right about now. No. Right, well it's gonna go first, so I have little to no choice but to heal. I really hate using items during battle. Uh, I think I can tank one more. I think I can do it. Oh, that was close. 
close. Oh, I took a big gamble. <laughs> but it worked. And it paid off. There we go. That's what I like to see. Motherfucker, that's what I was trying to tell you before all this. My strength is dangerous. I got that fucking... I got them strong bugs. Yeah, that's right. So why don't you do your thing, baby? Even though I don't think you get much stronger. I gotta see the... I don't know the difference in base stat totals between Swaddle and Swaddloon, I guess. You wanna run Protect? Okay, we can, we can do that. I fuck with Protect. Is there anywhere else for me? Oh, there's wild Pokemon here. Interesting. Ah, dark ground. Probably one shot. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, huh? I did not know there were wild Pokemon. Probably in the in the dark sand. That's interesting. Which means I'm unlikely to find a grass type, which is unfortunate. Well, level 17 Trubbish. I gotta look it up. I don't know what it's typing is. Trubbish. It's just a strict poison type. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna run from this. job. Nice. Mostly because we have to heal. If I didn't have to heal, it wouldn't be so... such a big deal. Man, all these people are fucking booking it. They are all, like, sprinting. No grass type. Unfortunate. Uh, although I can trade, <laughs> uh, but I never. Where do you even get like a, a cottony? That you can trade for either uh, a cottony or uh, patil. Petty Lil, but I don't even know, I don't even know where to get those. Hmm. Okay. If I fucking had a, a cottony or a, well, I guess since we're saving, we might as well. If I had a cottony or a, a pet, uh, pet little, I would fucking have them. In, in my team. I mean, I would still probably trade for the boosted experience. But, I want an, uh... Yeah, I'm 
going anywhere until I heal first. And then I think that's gonna do it for us today. So I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna save. I didn't realize I was this close to the Pokemon Center, otherwise I wouldn't have healed, uh, saved I mean, but well, whatever. Uh, okay, so let's save it. I think this is a decent spot to end for today. Uh, thank you very much for hanging in there and watching. You know, it was a slightly less eventful stream, uh, although we did get an evolution and we took on our second gym leader, so that was fun. Um, I guess we'll see what happens on the next stream. I don't really know. I never played this game before, but hopefully we can uh, we can continue our Nuzlocke slash gym leader challenge and, we'll, you know... We're streaming again Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, but Thursday will be a cooking stream. And then on Saturday at noon Eastern, we are continuing our summer, you know, uh, fun summer series. And that's a uh, another cooking stream that we're doing. And it's going to be some, you know, fresh, light ingredients that just kind of scream summer to me. So that's what we're doing for the rest of the week. Uh, Again, thank you very much for hanging in there. I appreciate it, and I will see you on Thursday. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of curious just to know what this, this woman is. I just kind of want to know. Like, I know I said I was going to go, and we just did like the whole... I'm leaving sp spiel, but I'm curious to know what she says. Uh, I don't... Why even give me the option of answering yes or no? <laughs> like... Nick, did you find Team Plasma? Yeah, you don't need to lie about it. Then why give me the option? Oh, I'm going to go in this cave, I guess. I, I was trying to get on the boat, but... Just in case it wants to wing attack me, I'll let him fucking... Really? Arm thrust a fighting move on a flying type? That's what you're going for, buddy? We're gonna have to, uh... Take precautionary measures, because it doesn't seem like our partner here is particularly intelligent. for another human being because my god AIs are just the fucking worst. Do you have any option to run from, from dual, like, double battles like this? 
Is that all I'm gonna find in here is Rattatan and Zubats? If so, it's gonna be more annoying. Let me get away. Let's see. I'll try one more time and then. I also wanna look up this. Where am I even? The sewers? Just Rattatad, Zubats, and Grimers. Grimer apparently is a very low opportunity. Couldn't get away. Thrust would have fucking killed him, probably, but of course, he wants to use something stupid. Uh, after this battle, we're gonna wrap it up because I'm honestly not in the mood to deal with 50,000 Zubats and, and fucking. Why is it that when I switch out, that's when he decides to do something useful and helpful? stairs and, and we'll, we'll end it there I already gave the whole thank you very much for hanging with this thing if you enjoy if I did forget to say so it's kind of good if you enjoy or you want to see more of how this goes be sure to give us a follow it's the easiest way to support us um, but even if you don't follow just you watching is enough and you know, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it. Um, we'll s I said I did all that stuff. I'm sorry, it's like I'm so used to doing all that and then ending that because it's out of order. I, it's weird to me, but we're just gonna go. Have a great night. Hopefully, you know you uh, are staying safe from the the hurricane and storm that is hitting the East Coast. So if you live somewhere along that path. Make sure you stay safe and uh, see you Thursday.